Six investigates tonight greyhound deaths at local dog tracks continue to climb. New statistics show hundreds of greyhounds have died at Florida racetracks over the past three years. Investigator Mike DeForest has been following this story, and Mike, this is a very controversial sport. It is, Lisa. Animal rights groups say that the number of greyhound deaths is just too high. Many are demanding Florida lawmakers shut down those dog tracks. But those in the racing industry insist only a small percentage of the greyhounds die as a result of incidents at the tracks and that banning dog racing would cost thousands of jobs. Here comes Lucky. In this video recently posted on the racing website trackinfo.com, a greyhound named FF Maverick crashes into another dog and tumbles off the track. Back of the pack was the 7 FF Maverick. FF Maverick suffered a severe neck injury according to this newly released report, which a veterinarian described as catastrophic and not repairable. So the greyhound was put to sleep. This is a dog that that died uh, at a very young age, he, he was five days shy of his second birthday. Carrie Teal's organization, Gray 2K USA, is trying to end greyhound racing. According to statistics it compiled, 360 greyhounds have died at Florida racetracks since the state mandated death reporting in 2013. 52 of those deaths occurred at the Daytona Beach Kennel Club, where FF Mavericks suffered that fatal fall, the second highest number in the state. It's something that the track should be held to account for, and it's something that the local community should be very concerned about. One death prematurely of a racing greyhound is too many. But these are racing greyhounds. These, they are part of an 8,000 group of racing greyhounds. The Florida Greyhound Association, which represents dog owners and breeders, says the number of animals that die at tracks is a relatively small percentage. The association opposes decoupling, which would change state laws so that tracks would no longer be required to race greyhounds if they also want to operate more profitable forms of gambling like poker. FF Maverick died so that Daytona could have their poker room. Now, representatives with the Daytona Beach Kennel Club tell us they take the safety of greyhounds very seriously. They say their safety practices and procedures are developed with veterinarians and other animal experts. But track officials did not share with us any specific measures they are taking to reduce the number mm -hmm. of dog deaths there. Yeah, and Mike, lawmakers recently began requiring dog tracks to report injuries as well as deaths. Uh, that's right. It was a new law that passed back in March. However, the state is still trying to come up with rules on how that injury reporting will take place. So as a right now, Florida dog tracks are still not reporting the injuries, just the deaths. Because we didn't have any of those numbers just a few years Correct. ago. Correct. Uh, yeah. uh, some people really fought to get the dog death numbers reported, as other states do. Um, then it was due to the injuries, yeah. and uh, we should see those hopefully in a couple months. Some shocking and sad numbers. Mike, thank you.